Okay, we'll just quickly go, uh, quickly go through a standard functions question and it goes that if x is more than 0, we have this function over here. Okay, function of 2x is equals to 2 divided by 2 plus x and we want to find 2 times the function of x. A fairly simple problem. How this works is that we already, why is it simple is that because we immediately know what is the substitution that we're going to make. We want to put a certain variable or a certain, how to say, a certain yeah, variable into x so that we will get the function x over here, at least the function x over one side. Now, if, since it's a very simple problem, I'd just like to take special attention to the algebra, okay? If it makes any difference, but certainly it doesn't. See, we can't substitute, okay, we want x over here, so logically we'll let uh, x be x equals to x divided by 2, okay? So that the 2 cancel out. But I must say this is not particularly correct because we can't let x equals to x divided by 2. It just doesn't make sense. Okay? So if you want to do the working properly, what you do is that you let x equals to y over 2. You make a substitution with the, with the variables. Okay? And then from here, now you can substitute this inside here. So it will be function 2 and y divided by 2. Okay? And it's equals to... 2 divided by 2 plus y divided by 2 and then you can simplify the algebra by putting 2 sorry 4 okay 4 plus x 4 plus y okay because you are dividing this whole thing by 2 okay then you bring the thing above so you get 4 over here okay and then this obviously is equals to function y okay now this is how the proper algebra is so function y equals to this and then what you do since that is the same function you just change the variable back to x so you like function x is equals to 4 divided by 4 plus x and then if you times by a 2 okay then you will get 8 okay fairly standard question but bearing the the proper notation is that you cannot really put x equals to x divided by 2 it just you know that's not the case you let x equals to another variable y divided by 2 do the algebra then you substitute back x inside okay that's how you solve a standard functions question the proper way and it's good that you know how to do it now